What is going on guys? JT Gilly back with another video and today's video is going to be a good one. We got some shinies in this video. Oh my gosh, some new shinies, some cool shinies, some rare shinies. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. But let's go ahead and start off today's video. Oh, I, and I dropped my phone. I literally dropped my phone. Let's start my video by dropping my phone. That's great. By hatching some eggs. I think I have... <laughs> Dude, are you serious? Wait, I swear to God that wasn't planned. You guys saw that happen. This is all live. This is all, this is not pre-recorded. Look, this is all live, not pre-recorded. Yo, I just hatched a hundo while dropping my phone. <laughs> well, we're starting today's video by hatching some five kilometer eggs. Am I, let me double check my recording. Yeah, we are. Okay, got some mud on my phone, but hey, that's worth it. We got a brand new hundo to start today's video and to add to the epicness. Are you serious? But I got like seven five kilometer eggs that I want to get to hatching right now. These are brand new. Actually, I don't know if they're from the last event or from this event. Oh, they're from last event. Okay, a lot of shiny eligibility here. Obviously, good IV is what we're going for and we got a hundo, so I don't even care what else comes out of these seven kilometers, I mean, five kilometers eggs. Yo, that's actually pretty wild. I, I, <laughs> I can't believe that happened. I drop my phone, pick it up, and we get a hundo hatch. That's amazing. 736, Bonds Lock. Oh my god, 96. That could have been crazy. I don't have that shiny. I, I need that shiny actually. That'd be very, very nice. But let's get these eggs going and let's see if we can get some fire from them. Come on, what do we got here? Badoo. What a dope surprise though. What a dope surprise to today's jam-packed video. It's going to be a good one. You guys are not going to want to miss this, man. Oh my god. I think this is the last egg right here. It's got to be the last egg. I have some really cool things to get into, but let's hatch this egg. What's it going to be? Um, What's his name? For, 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 547 horrible all right that makes sense that makes sense i believe that was the last egg but dude <laughs> we started off with a freaking hundo crow gunk while dropping my phone that's elite so i guess that's the new strategy guys if you guys want shinies or good iv hatches or just good eggs in general drop your phone it works every time i mean it does for me let's go ahead i mean i didn't want to start my video off by doing this because i didn't think this was going to happen but let's go ahead and start off today's video by evolving our quite literally brand new hundo crow gunk into hundo toxic croak i wonder if toxic croak is worth maxing out i know he's really good for pvp but i wonder if he's actually worth maxing out on his own i'll have to look into it let me know in the comments down below 1421 max toxic croak a new hundo in the family a new hundo for the month of january but now let's go ahead and hop into what i wanted to start today's video with I have been raiding so much. As you guys know, Kyogre and Groudon are back in raids. I've been raiding my butt off, and we finally, finally got it. I told you guys I'd guarantee that I was going to get the shiny, and we did. Roll the clip. Actually, clips. Go ahead. And after so, 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 so many raids, after so many raids, we finally got this shiny. I've been hunting this guy for so long. He's come back like three or four times. I wasn't able to get him, but I told you guys, I guaranteed that I would make it happen. Finally! Bro, I've been going so hard. I have done, I counted yesterday, I think I've done 46 or 47 raids without a single shiny. Not a Groudon, not a Kyogre within this return. So I'm glad I finally got it. One, two, three, shiny Groudon, finally gone. My first ever shiny Groudon. I definitely want a lucky trade that. That's gonna be so, so cool. There he is, man. There he is, unfortunately, 2295. Go haven't left a like for Shiny Groudon. Come on, baby. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have got any Shiny Groudon or Shiny Kyogre. Let's go. I literally woke up. I was just doing raids in bed, and then I, I took this down, and I got it. So there's, there's that, man. But that's an amazing start to today's adventure, which is, by the way, going to be very very good um okay i quite literally just recorded that last clip about five minutes ago my next raid what kind of luck is this back to back i don't know the cp on this by the way back to back shiny grout on 23 26 not even that bad i should have pineapped whatever it doesn't really matter 23 26 back to back shiny grout on what you know about that man we go like 46 raids without a shiny and then we get two in a row those odds are nothing to play with man and we got an xl candy 23 26 15 attack 
Let's go! Back to back crowd hunts! What is happening? But let me show you. I'm not capping, you guys. I am not capping. Look at all the raids we've done, and then look at that back to back crowd hunts right there. Whoa! Let's go! Okay! Yo! Yes, sir, man. We got two back to back shiny crowd on. And speak of the devil, not really, speak of his brother i guess uh we're gonna go ahead and hop in on a kyogre raid that we just got invited to as well because why not but man two shiny groudons are you serious man two shiny groudons back to back i went like 50 raids i think it was like 46 47 raids and i was probably off by a couple but i went like 50 raids without getting a shiny and then we go back to back do you know how hard it is to get back to back shinies in legendary raids especially with these guys because they did not like me here we are hopping in on a kyogre raid right now that's so cool man that's <laughs> that was just so cool. I was like, I just want one of them. And I ended up getting two back to back. And we still have like five days left in the event. So I'll be grinding those for the next couple of days for sure. No word on what the next legendary is in the rotation. It's supposed to be a surprise. They said there was going to be a mysterious Pokemon coming to five star raids at the end of January. I'm honestly not too sure what they're going to do. My guess, I don't know. If I had to guess, I'm just going to guess Armored Mewtwo. I feel like we haven't seen him in a while. If not him, then maybe the legendary beast. I don't know, man. There's so many options it's really hard to tell but for some reason i don't think we're getting a new legendary this time around and just like that kyogre is going to go down right there listen i know i have hundos of both i know i have shinies of both but i still want to get some xl candies because those are going to be important forever i mean they're really never going to not be important 2311 not a good iv kyogre the hundo is 2351 but ladies and gentlemen can we get a shiny really quick let's go ahead and find out kyogre can you do this should i drop my phone again no let's just <laughs> let's just go ahead and check it out yo okay i will say i've done a lot of kyogre raids and i haven't got him shiny in his return yet so maybe he's up next i don't know and we get it on the first ball kyogre breathe bro thanks man first ball down it goes no xl candy but that's all right this is already quite the video <laughs> but trust me i still have more i still have to show you guys a full odd shiny that i got lately and another event shiny that i got very very recently uh, so let's go ahead and hop into that. Well, should I should I take a break from all this craziness and maybe go over something important? Maybe. Actually, let's get to some news because it's pretty important and it's coming up this weekend. There's going to be a brand new incense day happening this Sunday, January 24th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. featuring Mareep. There's going to be a one Pokecoin bundle in the shop. It's going to give you three free incenses so you guys can take part of this event. It's going to go on from, again, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. your local time. Mareep is going to be the featured Pokemon. Make sure to get that shiny if you guys have not got it. It's pretty nice. Nice piece family so for the first two hours of the incense day electric pokemon are going to be spawning all those guys are going to be spawning with their shiny rates probably a little bit boosted so make sure you guys take advantage of that and then from 1 p.m to 2 p.m it's going to be those dragon type pokemon on the bottom very nice shinies right there make sure to take advantage of those guys and then from two to four for another two hours we're going to get electric types and then for the last hour it is going to be dragon types again i remember the last incense day was centret incense day and i got a bunch of shinies i know a lot of people did and and the spawns were good. I really enjoyed these kind of things. I'm glad they're bringing it back. Make sure you guys take advantage of this this Sunday, January 24th. Don't forget. And speaking of Mareep, in case you guys didn't know, they didn't announce this. This kind of just happened and everyone was like, wow, okay, that's that's a thing now. So Mega Ampharos is now live in Pokemon Go. I'm sure you guys have seen the raids already, but I have acquired 400 Mega Energy from doing a bunch of raids. No shinies just yet from the raids, but we can go ahead and do a Mega Ampharos evolution and we could take a look at what it looks like right now. I have a Hundo Max Ampharos. Very, very cool, very, very useful. There it is, Mega Ampharos. He's got like the same hair as me, low key. Throw him in the mega decks. That's so nice. That is so nice. Yo, 4245. That's a big boy. Very, very good for a Kyogre. So make sure you guys take advantage of that. But Mega Ampharos is here. That's kind of why they did the incense day as well. They kind of just paired them together. But really random. They didn't tell us this was going to be a thing. It just kind of happened. And everyone was like, all right lit oh i probably should have done a shiny oh i should have done a shiny pokedex i'm so ah oh, man i have enough candy is that kind of a waste though it is kind of a ah, whatever let's do it whatever who cares let's go ahead and look it back up here we go we got a shiny ampharos i got just enough energy to mega evolve it again but this will be my last time let's go ahead and evolve mega ampharos let's see what that shiny looks like oh my god pink white and blue and black yo that's amazing that looks so cool. What the heck? Wow. Wow. One of the nicest shiny Megas, I think. That is very cool, man. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I should have done that for the Megadex. I messed up. But still, 
we got it done. Very nice. I'm glad you guys know what it looks like. I'm glad I know what it looks like because I didn't know before. Cool. Uh, what else we got to talk about? Oh my God, we have shinies to talk about. We actually got these shinies on camera. Actually, we got it on live stream. So let's go ahead and watch that clip right now. This first one is a full odd shiny off of my go plus i don't know how it happened i was just chilling and i saw it and <laughs> i went crazy but let's go ahead and check it out right now recents anything on the recents oh my god oh <laughs> wow yo dude shiny pidgey shiny pidgey my second one ever off of a go plus i don't know if i said it in that clip right there but the only two shiny pidgeys i have are both from Pokemon Go Pluses. I don't get it. <laughs> it's so random, it's so cool, and I'm so down. Heck yeah, man. Shiny Pidgey right there, love to see it. Off the Go Plus, my second one. I need one more for the full family, and you'll probably see this guy evolved in a future video. And I got another shiny to show off to you guys. This one is an event shiny as part of the event that's going on right now. What is it, the Hoenn event that's going on right now? Make sure to check this one out. One of my favorite shinies of all time, and I mean that. Shiny freaking Aeron, 673 CP. It's my also, my second shiny for this. Again, this is spawning as part of the event that's going on right now. I don't know if it has boosted rates, or anything but this is uh one of my favorite shinies of all time i grew up loving agron as a kid for some reason just the whole family was so cool to me so i'm really glad i got this shiny plus i love the i love like the real just they're, they're really subtle the colors just red black and silver or whatever but i think it's so nice okay let's get to one last piece of news i was actually gonna wait until the next video to get into this because it's not happening for about a week or so but let's get into it anyway since they want to announce it early the johto region celebration event so we have a gen 2 event coming up really really soon here starting january 26th to january 31st a five-day event and it's gonna be lit let me tell you guys what's going on so we got a bunch of gen 2 spawns in the wild and raids and eggs and field research tasks of course and we got a brand new shiny coming to the game shiny miltank I like Shiny Miltank a lot. It's blue instead of the regular pink. Shiny Miltank is making this Pokemon Go debut. I'm down for that. Yo, Entei, Raikou, and Suicune will be appearing in five-star raids at different times during and after the Johto Celebration event. Ah, okay, so never mind. I guess we do know what the legendary is at the end of the month. It's the legendary beast. Yes, I love the legendary beast. I'm going hard on those. I'm going really, really hard. I love Raikou. I love Entei. I love Suicune. I want to get those shinies. I want to get those hundos. I want to make it happen. Didn't know that. I didn't even read this yet. This is brand news to me. Okay, wow. Well, there it is. Sorry about that uh, little clip earlier. We know what the new mysterious Pokemon is. It's the legendary beast. Of course, there's gonna be a Johto themed collection challenge. And then this is the really cool part. I like that they're doing this a lot. Hopefully they continue to do it. If you evolve Bayleaf during the event to a Meganium, you're gonna get the exclusive move, community day exclusive move frenzy plant. Make sure to do that. If you evolve Quilava, you're gonna get the exclusive move blast burn. And if you evolve Flaffy, you're gonna get dragon pulse. Oh my god, Pupitar too? If you evolve Pupitar, you get Smackdown? Again, that's happening January 26th. So one more time, we got Gen 2 Pokemon all around the world. Shiny Miltank, the Legendary Beasts are coming back, and a bunch of Community Day exclusive moves are going to be available as well. That's going to be lit. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys have not already. What an epic video. Like I've already said like four times already. Two Shiny Groudons, one Full Odd Shiny, one Event Shiny, random freaking hundo plus the evolution what well, crazy event coming soon we got mega ampharos twice uh it's just been a great time it's been an absolute great time hope you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments down below what you guys are looking forward to most i cannot wait for all of this action to get here and let me know what your guys' luck is with this event have you guys got any shinies how's your kyogre and groudon raids been let me know in the comments down below have a good rest of your day and i will see your faces later deuces